So this is incomplete. This is what I'm starting with. So I have taught this course before, but I want this time to, uh, this version to be uh, more better. And uh, so, so the books and references And this is an incomplete list, okay? Because I'm always uh, looking at new books. So there'll be stuff added. Uh, a very nice introduction to group theory, which is very easy, but at the same time quite rigorous, is the book by Jones. I like this book very much, Jones. And this book is called Groups. representations and physics. I know what the mathematicians here are thinking, but it's a good book, uh, even from a mathematical point of view. Number two, Anthony Z's book, it's called Group Theory. in a nutshell, for physics, for physicists. Okay. And number three is lecture notes by Hugh Osborne, who is a faculty, is a professor at Cambridge. So uh, they are also available on the net. Group theory lecture notes, and they're based on a course that he gave in part three. Part three math. Since it's Cambridge, they call it part three math. This was an S there in North America. Uh, mathematics gets shortened to math. In England, it gets shortened to maths. Okay, that's the main difference between North America and the UK. Okay, number two, four is to be added. So I'm sure there's an obvious question in the minds of the mathematicians here. Is this a mathematics course or a physics course? Okay, the answer is it's a math physics course. It's a mathematical physics course. Uh, where no background in physics is assumed, okay? So I will motivate all the physics, you know, a lot of the questions we are going to be asking and the problems we are, you know, addressing do come from physics. And, you know, this is something that happens in the real world. If you're a mathematician and you say, oh, I have no interest in physics, that's fine. That is not a problem. But you have to realize that many of the important branches of mathematics were even were born and are still being born because physics needs it or physics or because of its cross pollination with physics. Okay. 